15 million members empowered to learn, to create, to grow, to harvest, to lead, to dream. Equity. Karibu member. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rousel House in Karen or contact us on 0722-306-030 or 0739-309-593 or send an email to info at rouselhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentthereze.ac.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College. Actualize your full potential in life. The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for the May and September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology, and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records, and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE Bridging or Neck Receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for Diploma in Nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha Town. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 0780-430-312 or send an email to kecstlukes at yahoo.com.
The Little Sisters of St. Francis invite you to the Golden Jubilee celebrations of Our Lady Queen of Angels Bahati Novitiate. The event will take place on Saturday, 2nd of July 2022 in Nakuru Diocese. The Eucharistic celebration will be presided over by the Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kisumu, Most Reverend Morris Muhatia Makumba, assisted by the Apostolic Administrator of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, His Lordship Bishop David Kamau. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Do you feel called by God to become a religious sister? Then the Little Sisters of St. Francis welcome you to the ideal place to nurture your vocational journey. We are an institute of African religious women founded in 1923 and with established presence and apostolates in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and some states in the USA. Our apostolates include pastoral ministry, education, healthcare ministry, legal profession and administration, social work apostolate, catering services, fashion and design. For more information, contact the vocations promoter, the Little Sisters of St. Francis, P.O. Box 62676, Code 00200 Nairobi or call 0721-746503 or 0717-179-509. The Little Sisters of St. Francis, my God, my all. St. Mary's Mission Hospital is a faith-based level 4 medical center that offers compassionate, affordable health care focused on uplifting the dignity of the sick. The main reason why we were started was so that we can be able to provide quality services to those people who cannot be able to go to the high-end hospitals within the city, but they can be able to get quality health care. For client-responsive inpatient, outpatient, specialized consultant services, as well as spiritual and psychosocial care, visit St. Mary's Mission Hospitals. Some of the specialities that we have in this are pediatric cardiologist, pediatric uh, consultant, we also have a pediatric surgeon, we also have a general surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, we have an oncologist, we also have our dermatologist department, an ENT department, uh, and a dental department. We also offer radiology services, maternity and mother and child health care. Women who plan to conceive from the time of preconception, we work with them until they conceive or the ones who have already conceived and they would like to attend antenatal clinics. You're so welcome into St. Mary's Mission Hospital. We promise to give you the very best. In St. Mary's we deal with the whole wholesomeness of our patients. And we are very specific on diagnosis, we are very specific on supplementation, and we are very specific on even on discharge criteria. Our hospital is fully fledged with state-of-art facilities and medical equipment, coupled with dedicated medical experts to guarantee efficient all-round services. Ukiita daktari, hata kama kijenya yikuwa nafanya na achi hapa, nakuja naona mtoto, walisugulikia mtoto wangu vizuri, sayi mtoto wangu anakula, anacheza, Ananyonya, nafraia sana, anasukuru madaktari wa St. Mary's. Juu siku anexpecti kama antarudi na umu toto. Shugulika, wanashugulika kila kitu. We have a fully equipped ambulance which is available on a 24-hour basis for both critical intubated and non-intubated patients. Both our hospitals are NHIF accredited. We also accept other corporate insurances to ensure our services are more affordable and accessible to all. Both of our branches are uh, NHIF accredited and uh, we also take uh, insurances as long as your card is active and you also have uh, other insurances, your bill will be fully catered by both NHIF and the other corporate that we do take. We give our patients value for money because this is one of the cost-effective 
uh, hospitals. We stock affordable and quality drugs and uh, we have a variety of the, our, our medications to give sufficient services to our client. St. Mary's Mission Hospital, we continue to decentralize our services for our patients' convenience and soon we will branch out into Nairobi Central Business District at Cardinal Otunga Plaza. We will also be launching a dialysis and ICU units this year. We also have an infectious disease unit where we have been able to manage our COVID patients. We are able to offer specialized service within this and most of the clients are able to stay with the next of kin in the wards. We offer meals for the same and 24-hour coverage with medical officers and consultants. It is a very comfortable service and we would wish that you would try us and you can experience what St. Mary's has to offer. For general inquiries about our services, call us on 0777-663-441 or 0207-851-300. In Elementita, call us on 0717-305-1000. Or visit our website at stmmh.co.ke. You can also send an email to info at stmmh.co.ke. I'd encourage all to come because when you come, you are sure of not losing the missing the consultant. It's a good place to be. Experience true compassionate and holistic healing, all in a one-stop medical center. Welcome to St. Mary's Mission Hospitals, Compassion in Healthcare. Every day, over 15 million members are transforming Africa.
St. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rousel House in Karen or contact us on 0722-306-030 or 0739-309-593 or send an email to info at rouselhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentthereze.se.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College. Actualize your full potential in life. Times brings you the most comprehensive family entertainment. Love, betrayal, and conspiracies on new Swahili drama series Fihi. Unscripted reality show Kupatana on Rainbow TV. 2022 Women AFCON Finals on World Football from 2nd July. Kids Entertainment on Tsunami, ST Kids and Nickelodeon. Turkish dramas on TDC Channel, Brothers Season 2, and When Love Burns on Novella E Plus. Movies, documentaries, and latest news updates. For these and more, renew your Star Times Classic K on Aerial. for just 899 shillings per month or smart bouquet on satellite for 999 shillings. Jibambe on Star Times. Mata Hospital welcomes you to its newest satellite medical center at the Well Mall along Langata Road in Karen. The reason why clients should come to Mata Karen Clinic or Medical Center is because we offer a variety of medical services to include consultation services which are done by our qualified and experienced doctors. We manifest the spirit of Christ in the provision of health care to all our patients as we adhere to the values of the religious sisters of mercy. We provide uh, basically primary health care services. So this means we will follow up patients on an outpatient basis for various diseases including diabetes, asthma and any other illness which arises which does not require complex care. Um, our staff are qualified and uh, provide um, effective services which are cost effective and uh, good for our patients. The various services that we offer at our clinic include uh, pharmacy services where we have a fully stocked pharmacy run by a qualified pharmacist and we serve all your prescription needs. We have laboratory services that are run by our qualified lab technologies. Get more than just basic treatment at Mata Hospital Karen Medical Clinic. One of the key features of primary care is that we provide health education about various conditions. 
This would include things like hypertension. We would advise you on things such as how to take care of your health. We serve our clients within a very short time. We have enough well-ventilated waiting area for our clients. And we have rooms for all those procedures that we've mentioned, well-spaced rooms with enough facilities and equipment. We also have all the decentralized services that are offered from the main hospital to include ultrasound services that we offer on Wednesdays from 8 a.m to 5 p.m. in the evening. So feel welcome to Mata Misericordia Hospital, Karen Medical Center. We take pride in your wholesome well-being. We are always ready to meet you at your point of need. A lot of health issues are now preventable and this means that just by making lifestyle changes, we can improve the health of people in the community. Our esteemed clients and patients, welcome to the Mata Misericordia Hospital, Karen Medical Center. We have a large, well-ventilated facility, which means that uh, we are able to um, see patients in a safe environment. And I would ask you, you know, if you have a health issue, and you are within the area, I mean, please feel free to come and consult us. We'll be happy to work with you and identify your issue and resolve it. We are open every Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You come and support us in this medical clinic in Karen in the world. We are in the first floor and you just test us. Sisters of Mercy are known for quality because they are all over the world and especially our care for the sick. It is hard times because of the coronavirus, but we know we will give the best quality. We just want to welcome all of you to come to our gynec clinic. It runs every Tuesday from 9 to midday. We have the full gynec specialty all located in one room, one or one roof. We have a very comprehensive lab, we have ultrasound services, and most of all, we have caring staff who are going to take care of all your needs. So once again, welcome and karibu to this great medical center of ours. ni tarehe 26 mwezi wa Juni mwaka wa 2022 tumsifu Yesu Kristo mpendo wa mtazamaji wa Runinga Kapchim popocha pale ulipo na kumbuka katika kazi zetu za unjilishaji tumekita kambi katika kanisa la Our Lady of Consolata ama ukipenda Our Lady of Consolata Shrine iliyoko eneo la Westland kwenye jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi na mbali na ibada ya misa takatifu kumbuka pia ni siku kuu ya kifamilia ya waumini wa kanisa hili na pia ni siku kuu ya Our Lady of Consolata na kumbuka tangu janga la corona lililosambaratisha mambo mengi hasa kufungwa kwa makanisa au maeneo ya maombi kwa miaka miwili iliyopita ni sherehe ya kwanza kabisa kwenye kanisa hili ama 
kanisa hili la wa lady of eh, consolata na tunaungana na mmoja wapo hapa waumini tueleze hasani nini tunatarajia katika misa takatifu na mbali ya misa takatifu siku hii ya leo na kumbuka kiongozi wa ibada hatakuwa askofu mkuu wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi mwashamu askofu Filipa Nyolo na pia ni siku yake ama misa ya kwanza ambaye anayeongoza tangu kuteuliwa kwake ama kusimikwa rasmi kama askofu mkuu wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi tunaungana na mmoja hapo hapa ujambo mzuri uh, sana naomba ujitambulishe kwa majina ninaitwa Charles Mochoge mimi nasimamia development and maintenance kwa kanisa hili la Consolata Shrine mm -hmm. ni nini hasa tunatarajia siku ya leo mbali na ibada ya misa takatifu ya kawaida uh, kile tunatarajia leo ni kusherekea uh, siku ya our lady consolata na kama patronesi wa parishi yetu na kwa hivyo uh, uh, pamoja na familia ya consolata parish members ambaye itakuwa itaunganishwa pamoja uh, ili tusherekee pamoja kama familia ya mother Mary consolata tumeona misa imeshaanza ni utaratibu gani tofauti na misa kawaida leo tunatarajia e, misa iko na tofauti kidogo kwa sababu iko na procession ya our lady kutoka shule ya ya consolata school ili endereshe na procession pro, procession ya our lady wa kimbeba hiyo ndiyo tofauti ya kuanza misa ya leo mm -hmm. yeah na kitu kingine ungependa tuongeze? Eh, kila kitu nataka tuongeze ni kama tuna reflect our lives eh, as we see God has been very merciful for us kwa sababu wakati wa covid atungefanya hii kuna mambo mingi litusimamisha lakini tena kuna watu wengine walikuwa affected wengine walipoteza watu yao wengine wali, walikuwa na sikia sasa hawaendi hata siku nyingine kanisani kwa sababu kanisa ilisimamishwa kidogo lakini sasa tunafurahia tunaanza kuungana tunatuko pamoja kanisani na tuna celebrate hiyo visit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shukran. Na tunaye hapa pia mama mmoja wa CWA ama kupenda wanawake chama cha wanawake wa Katoliki chama ambacho ni kiungo muhimu sana katika kanisa Katoliki. Ujambo mama? Sijabu. Habari yako? Mzuri. Najua baada ya janga la corona kukandamiza mambo mengi ni sherehe ya kwanza katika kanisa. Hili unajihisi kivipi? Eh yes, jina yangu ni Rebecca Wanjiro Mwishigi, kiong moderator wa CWA Consolata Shrine. Eh kiti nimesimamia miaka 12. Na leo ni siku tofauti sana na zile zingine tunasherekea kwa sababu sasa tunasherekea kutoka kwa janga la corona wale watu walikufa wa, 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 wa tuseme kwa heri kwao na kwa maombi kama kanisa yake tukikatoleki tunaombea wale wameenda alafu na hawa waseme asante kwa Mungu kwa sababu ya kuwa mabaki kutoka kwa hiyo covid 19 mm -hmm. uh, hii kanisa ilitoka huko Muranga Tudhu ndio mamishionari wa kwanza walitumwa na yule aliwatuma anaitwa Joseph Blessed Joseph Aramano kutoka Italiano na akawaambiwa ninamkambidhi mikononi ya Maria Consolata ili awe akupatia consolation kwa sababu hawakujua wali, wanaenda wapi walienda tu kwa msitu kwa jago na wakafika hapo alafu ikaanzia kutoka hapo alafu hii kanisa ikaja hapa na sisi wale watu wote tunakaa na Robi tumetoka hiyo jibu zote na ime imetandaa mpaka Kenya mzima tunashiriki hapa kama uh, walid consolata wale wana believe na hiyo fraternity mm -hmm. Thank you. Leo tunajua ni siku ya kifamilia ya kanisa hili. Je, siku ya kifamilia kina umuhimu gani ama maana gani? Siku ya kifamilia ina umuhimu sana kwa sababu ni siri ni sisi tusherekee misa pamoja, tuwe tufurahi, tukule pamoja. Hapa hakuna mtu atalipa kitu kula ile chakula yote tumeandaa. Unaona ile matenti iko pale ije ni ya chakula na watakula pamoja, tutakula pamoja, tushiriki pamoja na yule atakaa upande wako umwambia asante kwa Mungu kwa sababu ya kuku weka. Tena tutakuja hapa na bahasa zetu na kila kitu tukisema tukishurudishia Mungu uh, shukrani. Tupatie 
wale mapasa wetu ka, kitu ya kufanya kazi naye kwa hivyo ni siku ya kusema asante kwa Mungu tukiwa pamoja kama familia ya Consolata. Na pia ni siku kuu ya wa Lady of Consolata. Tofauti na siku ya kawaida ni ipi na hasa bwana mwasherekea eh, wa Lady of Consolata? Uh, kama vile nimesema hapo mbeleni, wa Lady Consolata yeye ndiye mwenye anatukonsol. Sisi tunaomba tukipitia kwa Mama Maria. Na Mama Maria Consolata yeye ndiye mwenye mwakilishi patroness wa hii wa hii kanisa yetu na kwa hivyo tunasherekea siku yake kila June every June tunasherekea lakini hii ni tofauti kwa sababu tuna furaha kubaki kutoka kwa corona na covid 19 mm -hmm. yes na je waumini ama wakristu wa kawaida ni wanajifunza nini kutokana na siku kama hii ya kifamilia wa kanisa katoliki limekipa kipa mbele ya yeah, ile tunafikiri kwa mbele sana ni kwa sababu ni, ni kusema asanti kwa kila kitu Mungu ametufanyia kusema asanti na kumwambia Mungu ni asanti kwa yale yote ametufanyia mwaka huu na hii ni tofauti kuliko siku zile zingine kwa sababu wakati huo mwingine tunakuwa na misa kama tano na kila group inakuja kwa misa kila group inakuja kwa misa lakini siku ya leo tumekuja pamoja sisi zote tumeugana pamoja kumwambia Mungu asanti tukiwa sisi zote mm -hmm. Na kwako labda ni kurejeshe nyuma siku ya kifamilia ina umuhimu gani hapa yani katika maisha ya waumini wa kanisa katoliki? E, siku ya kifamilia hasa ni kusema kama familia unakuja na familia yako, unakuja na zawadi yako, unakuja tunakaa tuna pamoja, tunakula pamoja, tunashiriki kwa misa pamoja, tu, tuwe kitu, tu, kitu, kitu moja. Na kama vile nchi yetu iko tunaelekea uchaguzi na tunataka kila mtu ajisikie ako na mwingine everybody is a, uh, is a, a brother a sister to the other one kila mtu ni dada na dugu ya yule mwingine na ndio tunaanzia hapa sisi kama wa consolata yes mambo mengine ungependa kuongeza ningependa kuongeza tunasema asante sana kwa nyinyi kuja hapa ili tueleze watu wale wengine vile umuhimu wa, wa hii sherehe yetu kama Maria Consolata vile ametupatia ame nafasi ya kuwa hapa vile tunaomba na, tuna, na tunajua uh, tukiomba tukimuita anakuja Mm. Shukra. Aya ni maoni ya wachache tu na kumbuka tumekita kambi hapa katika kanisa la Our Lady of Consolata ama ukipenda Consolata Shrine iliyoko eneo la Westland kwenye Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi imbali na ibada ya misa takatifu ni siku ya kifamilia na pia siku kuu ya Our Lady of Consolata na kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mwashamu askofu Philip Anyolo askofu wa Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi na kumbuka mbali na ibada ya misa takatifu ataweza kutoa pia ujumbe wa as, ma, baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki ama kupenda KCCB si ya Jumapili kila Jumapili leo pia ni azamu yake askofu Philip Anyola ataweza kutoa ujumbe wake katika misa hii takatifu kwangu sinabudi ila ni wakaribishe moja kwa moja katika ibada misa takatifu jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya Thank you
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Every day over 15 million members are transforming Africa Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rosell House in Karen or contact us on 0722306030 or 0739309593 or send an email to info@rosellhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentheres.sc.ke for more details. Saint Theres Vocational Training College actualize your full potential in life.
The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for the May and September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE Bridging or NEC Receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for Diploma in Nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha Town. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 0780-430-312 or send an email to kecstlukes at yahoo.com. Sisters of St. Francis invite you to the Golden Jubilee celebrations of Our Lady Queen of Angels Bahati Novishit. The event will take place on Saturday, 2nd of July 2022 in Nakuru Diocese. The Eucharistic celebration will be presided over by the Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kisumu, Most Reverend Maurice Mohatia Makumba, assisted by the Apostolic Administrator of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, His Lordship Bishop David Kamau. Do you feel called by God to become a religious sister? Then the Little Sisters of St. Francis welcome you to the ideal place to nurture your vocational journey. We are an institute of African religious women founded in 1923 and with established presence and apostolates in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and some states in the USA. Our apostolates include pastoral ministry, education, healthcare ministry, legal profession and administration, social work apostolate, catering services, fashion and design. For more information, contact the vocations promoter, the Little Sisters of St. Francis, P.O. Box 62676, Code 00200 Nairobi or call 0721-746-503 or 0717-179-509. The Little Sisters of St. Francis, my God, my all. St. Mary's Mission Hospital is a faith-based level 4 medical center that offers compassionate, affordable health care focused on uplifting the dignity of the sick. The main reason why we were started was so that we can be able to provide quality services to those people who cannot be able to go to the high-end hospitals within the city, but they can be able to get quality health care. For client-responsive inpatient, outpatient, specialized consultant services, as well as spiritual and psychosocial care, visit St. Mary's Mission Hospitals. Some of the specialities that we have in this are pediatric cardiologist, pediatric uh, consultant, we also have a pediatric surgeon, 
We also have a general surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, we have an oncologist, we also have our dermatologist department, an ENT department, uh, and a dental department. We also offer radiology services, maternity and mother and child health care. Women who plan to conceive from the time of preconception, we work with them until they conceive or the ones who have already conceived and they would like to attend antenatal clinics. You're so welcome into St. Mary's Mission Hospital. We promise to give you the very best. In St. Mary's, we deal with the whole soundness of our patients. And we are very specific on diagnosis. We are very specific on supplementation. And we are very specific on... Thank you for joining us for the procession. I would like to take this opportunity briefly to just explain um, the geography of our, our place here for those who may be new. Um, kindly note, we've got, um, we've got bathroom or toilet to my, to my left. I'd like to take this brief opportunity to just um, inform you about the geography of our place. We've got toilet to my left. The building, your building here in um, gold building here, um, will have toilet for both men and women. Um, and anyone who needs special assistance as well. We've got toilets also down the stairs opposite that building if anyone needs. We have also toilets um, to my right behind the parish, uh, old parish hall. Those are open and ready to be used. And again, we have toilets within the Alamano Center for the children. So please, please feel. Second announcement is that uh, because of the COVID-19 resurgence, we require everybody to have a mask. So please ensure that you have, have your mask on during during this particular month. Um, have your mask on. If you do not have a mask, if you've forgotten your mask, please visit our first aid tent. Um, just outside, you'll see them, and you can put um, an additional mask there. So let us stand and uh, welcome our fellow guests.
It's a way of honoring her in a special way, but above all, sending our prayers through her to Jesus Christ, our Son. So we are grateful for this. At this juncture, I would like to welcome His Grace. Today is the first official day he has come to our palace. I was expecting to have clapped. Thank you, thank you very much. Your Grace, your most welcome, please. This is your uh, Paris, Consulata Shrine. Today we are gathered here to celebrate this special occasion. We are grateful because God has enabled us to celebrate. You are aware that we have lost so many years, you know, three years actually, practically without celebrating well uh, the feast of our Indian Consulata. So I'd like to welcome in a special way that our good Lord may bless us through you today as we are honoring this uh, day. And we know we having this spirituality of our Mother Mary because you remember, consular missionaries 
were founded by Blessing Joshua Ramana, who was inspired by our Lindy Consolata to find this congregation. So today, we are having that moment of gratitude to God. Today, Your Grace is also our Paris Family Day. We combine this feast of our Lindy Consolata with our Family Day when we come together as a family to celebrate the love of God and the graces God has granted to us above all health and life because all what we are and all what we have belong to God. So that's why we are grateful for this. So your grace, you are most welcome. I would like now to invite you officially to lead us in this celebration. Welcome. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. My brothers and my sisters, we celebrate the family, the family of the, the Spanish Consolata, which has his devotedness to Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Consolata. Let us pray together that God will make us united, we shall remain one. Not alone just as individuals, not alone just as a family here, but united with him. And even those ones who have gone ahead of us through or gone nearer, they are nearer to God. We are coming out of the COVID and being my first time here, I wanted to request that we remember them. Those who are members and they cannot come to this family day. This time, let us remember them in our prayers because as we believe in our faith, they still are alive and fully present and fully alive in God's presence. They have gone ahead of us. Eternal life grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Eternal life grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Eternal life grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of our body, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
consolation of Jesus Christ grant that we who venerate her as consolator may compete and cooperate with her against the evil together with one another in the work of the redemption we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen
Jerusalem. A reading from the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Israel, shout aloud. Rejoice, exult with all your heart, 
daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has repealed your sentence. He has driven your enemies away. The Lord, the King of Israel, is in your midst. You have no more evil to fear. When that day comes, word will come to Jerusalem. Zion, have no fear. Do not let your hands fall limp. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult with joy over you. He will renew you by his love. He will dance with shouts of joy for you as on a day of festival. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm will be led by the choir. Zaburi ya kuitikizana tajaribu kusema Bwana amewafariji watu wake Bwana amewafariji watu wake Bwana amewafariji watu wake Bwana amewafariji watu wake Tutajaribu kuimba Bwana amewafariji watu wake Bwana amewafariji watu wake
Somo katika waraka wa pili wa mtume Paulo kwa Wakorintho Atukuzwe Mungu Bwana Atukuzwe Mungu wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Baba mwenye huruma na Mungu mwenye kuleta faraja yote yeye hutufariji sisi katika kila taabu ili nasi tupate kuwafariji wengine katika kila taabu kwa faraja hiyo hiyo tunayopokea kutoka kwa Mungu. Naam. Kadiri mateso ya Kristo Yanavyozidi ndani yetu ni kadiri hiyo hiyo tunazidi kufarijiwa naye ikiwa tunapata taabu basi ni kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu tukifarijika ni kwa ajili ya kuwafariji ninyi na kuwaunga mkono Mpate nguvu ya kustahimili mateso yale yale tunayoteseka sisi. Tena matumaini tulio nayo kwa ajili yenu ni imara. Tunajua kwamba mkishiriki mateso yetu mtashiriki pia faraja yetu neno la bwana tafadhali simameni kwa shangilio ale
salamu Maria umejaliwa neema nyingi Bwana yu pamoja nawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote According to Luke John Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her Rejoice so highly favored the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, but how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered. And the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord.
in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So peace be with you all. Uh, good morning. I want to thank God that I'm able to be here today celebrating with you this family day. I don't take it for granted but I really want to appreciate the invitation I received from yourselves through the parish priests. So I say thank you very much all of you for that invitation. Number two, I want to thank you again and appreciate your welcome. I see the BA, CMA, and Santeni Sana, Kokun Kelvisha, Kwa, Deremo, Shangun, and Fuye. I felt I was coming home to celebrate your family day. So here I am, I'm celebrating with you. I want also to encourage you to celebrate to rejoice. That is what it is in the first reading. We rejoice. And in the second reading, St. Paul insists as well. That rejoice. Be there deep problems, be there difficulties and everything, but if you have faith in God, you trust in God, Rejoice because he is your peace. And on this occasion that we are celebrating on our feast, our feast day, our family day, Mary also is told out of her worries to rejoice because she will be the mother of Jesus Christ, Jesus the proclaimer of peace. And she says, they are told her, do that because through you many people who are suffering, people who are undergoing a lot of difficulties, challenges, will be consoled. So she's given a mission to rejoice so that people may be consoled. Now, we want to appreciate the fact that we are celebrating our fifth day, our family day, the fifth day, the family day of Mary, the mother of God, the motherhood of the church. Because Mary, being the mother of God, she also has the motherhood of the church. We call her Mary our mother. Mary the mother of priests, Mary the mother of Christians, Mary the mother of the church. We want to rejoice that even through that one, we call the church, our Catholic church, we call it the mother church. So it is a wonderful occasion that we are celebrating. I think let us look at what the motherhood of Mary does in our lives in relationship to our faith, our commitment, our ministry in the service in the vineyard of the Lord. I can imagine what a mother does in a growing child, what a parent does in a growing child. We being the children of God, and Mary being given to us like a mother, we should rejoice. Are you rejoicing really? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. So, we get a girl of us. Me, I'm rejoicing also because here the message comes out very clearly that Mary is our consolation. And in my life, I'm sure in the life of these priests, their own lives, and these people who are consecrated, at one time or another you have seen Mary is a consolation in the ministry that you provide to the people of God. She will never leave you alone, she consoles you. She's like your mother. And she does everything that your mother could do when you were a child. Me, I remember when I was still a child, I was not so much a child, I was in the, I was in the class seven. And then I, I got I ate a lot of potatoes, so I was I had a heavy stomach, so it was to come out through the mouth. So I was told we go back home, and I went home. And when I was at home, as I was telling my mother that I'm, 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 I've been told to come back home um, because I'm sick, she moved nearer to me. And what came next? I vomited. And what did she do? 
She brought her hands and she took all the vomit. She threw the vomit away and she pulled her hands again again there and she took another vomit and she threw it away and she pulled me to go and wash me my mouth. I was a grown up, I was a class seven already. But that's what the mother can do. I'm sure you do that. Yeah, the church does the same. When you say we communion of sinners, we invite and welcome everybody to come and through this life of the love of God that is so surpassing in our human weakness, or our human weakness can be well experienced in that. So the experience we have there in our families and the experience we have as the, our parents are taking care of us is that what you also can experience in the presence of Mary, the mother of God, our lady of consolation, Mary, our lady of consolata. We are celebrating a wonderful day. A wonderful day that God himself consoles us in our own challenges. In this church, in our church, in our life, as human persons who are a church, a church that has three aspects. That has three aspect? aspects. The first aspect of the church is that the church of Christ is a triumphant church. It is a triumphant church. It has triumphed, it has triumphed over evil because it did so by Christ and by Mary saying, How will uh, that your will be done? Whatever it is, the challenges I'm going to have, I will do good for the greater glory of your name. And I will do good to overcome evil. And she conceived Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ also went the same way like the mother. In his humanity, he said also, I will do the will of God. And again, he did it in a way that Everything that happened in the world was even blames and condemnation of sin was put around him as if he was the greatest sinner and yet he was born without sin and he was sinless through his life because of human divinity, humanity and divinity that, say that he was God himself. But he took everything upon himself so that we might live, that we may live. You can imagine as you see the vomit that you get and everything still the, your, your mother take, keeps it. That's what the church is. Sometimes we have very difficult things. We have very evil things. But when we bring the church through the church, God saves us again. The church is a wonderful home. When, where people could go east, west, north and south, but coming back to the church, you are coming back to God. You are coming to your God. So that you may be in Him and He in, in you. You may abide in Him. And this is what we are celebrating when we remember Mary, the mother of God, who is our consoler. And she consoles us in a special way by being the mother of Jesus Christ, the mother of our Savior. There is no greatest consolation of hum in humanity than that one. That means says, I give you my son, who is God, human and divine, and listen to him. And we are consoled. I'm sure all of us who are Christians, we know that. That in our pilgrim, we are triumphant because Jesus Christ has won for us that which we had lost. In our militancy, the church is militant, we have the energy, the power, the love, the mercifulness, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, nine of them, to overcome evil by doing good. Mary did the same. She overcame evil by doing good. We have all that talent that we are, as we, we were talking with the Father now, that we are on the pilgrim church. Moving from where we were with the statue of Mary up to here is a major sign that the family of God that is triumphant, the family of God that is militant against any evil is on the move towards the heavenly Jerusalem. We shall be there and Mary will be with us. And she will guide us up to there. So, my dear people, the day what we are celebrating has one reality in our lives. 
we want to realize and we want to appreciate the fact that God who is present in our lives, God who is always there, even at times when we think he's not there, for sure he remains with us. We think we might not feel his presence, but for sure he remains with us. The tranquility, the calmness of Mary, when she accepted to say yes, is a model of that what we are living in the church today. And this Mary is the one who is going to create a lot of peace, a lot of trust, a lot of harmony, a lot of joy in our midst. As we go back from here after celebration of this Mary, our Consolator, our Lady of Consolation, let us know and let us in our own faith conceive and perceive that reality that Mary has healed us through the intercession she gives to God for our sake. And God has listened. Mary has brought joy in our life. Mary has brought gladness in our life. And as you go from here, you will continue thanking God for Him coming to you and thanking God for one another. Me, I will continue thanking God for you. I will continue thanking God for, for you. And I will pray for you. So, so, I will continue praying for you that even next year, come back again and come back in big numbers and celebration mood to thank God for giving us Mary. So, so. Yeah, it's only that I cannot sing like these people are singing. Otherwise, I would have sung for years long of thanking God. Nimbe? Mimi siju kuimba vizuri. Sena sawati yangu ni mbaya. Sasa, I want to sing to you, to you maybe the way St. Paul uh, perceived and understood his own people and in relationship to God through Mary as he was very happy preaching. And he said, I thank my God for you and when I pray for you, my prayers are filled with are filled, filled with joy. You know that song? You know it? You don't know it? Uh, because you want me to sing? Yes. <laughs> Let me try. Nikishindwa, I will point at you and you come to sing with me. <laughs> One, two, three. I thank my God for you and when I pray for you my prayers are always filled with joy. I'm certain that one who... I cannot go further. I want to stop there. <laughs> and I'm sure you might ask you, you have your own way, your style of singing, but you can sing it even better than me. See you? Yeah, sing that song as you go back. Sing that song as you remember many things that God has done for you, especially seeing it the way Mary herself sang in Magnificat. That's how she sang the Magni, Magnificat. Because what God had done for her, she saw it coming on from one generation to another one, to another one, and through and through forever. And she was very joyful. And for that reason, we are here to sing that song of Magnificat with Mary. In itself, it is a prayer. In itself, it is a prayer of fulfillment. In itself, it is a prayer of joy. In its presence, it is a prayer of consolation. In its prayer, it is a prayer that has all the qualities, the perfection that we need to talk to God with. So, thank God that you belong to the Consolator Church. And thank God with Mary for the greater things she has done. Celebrating this, I thought we look at ourselves. We need peace. The peace that Mary had when she conceived that message. The peace that she had, despite the many challenges that she went through her own life, she went and she made even Elizabeth. And instead of even being consoled only by Elizabeth, she was consoling Elizabeth. Isn't it? Yeah, she was consoling Elizabeth. Elizabeth said, Slam Maria, Umejanema, Bwana Yonawe, Umebarikua Kulikwa Nawaki. You see, it's, it went on like that. 
and this song should echo, this sense should echo in our lives as big Christians of Consolata. It should be your spirituality. It should be that that makes you to give makes you your identity in the church. The church that is on the pilgrim, the church that is triumphant through Mary, the church that is also militant in many things, just like Mary was. This church gathered here today, you as a family of God, on this feast day of Mary, our Lady of Consolation, it is because we want to invoke peace. Because we want to invoke peace. Peace for myself, peace for my neighbor, peace in our hearts. Peace in all aspects of our lives. The peace that Mary had whenever she was with Jesus Christ. In her background, in her silence, she was so peaceful. And even that Jesus Christ had passed, had died, and the reason he was not with her, she remained so peaceful with the, among the apostles. She brought that peace. Let us pray for this peace. The peace, I mean, the peace that comes from God. And let it be also an anecdote of this parish who are consoled by Our Lady. The apostles left and they were at peace. And they got the power of the Holy Spirit. They got the power of the Holy Spirit at the Pentecost that we have here celebrated. They got the power of the Holy Spirit. Who brought them together? Who assembled them together? Who drew away that fear from them? It was because of that presence of Mary in their midst. The mother of God, seeing her son being killed, rising again, seeing him, but still she journeyed with them, making the church be a family. She brought peace. She brought peace. The peace that helps us to understand that God is watching over us. God is watching over us and God is protecting us. For that, the peace that God has taught through Mary, our Lady of Consolation, our consolation, let this peace be also be felt in our present world, in our families, in our hearts, in our parish, and all that we do. However, let it be felt also more and more. The spirit of peace, let it be felt in what we are going to bear in our lives. We are going to bear the votes. We are going to bear the votes for our elections and many other things. Yes, that's a symbol of one. So we know that this peace is a gift that comes from above. It's a peace that comes from Baba, but from God himself. It is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's a fruit from love. Love one another. The command that Jesus Christ himself gave before he left is love one another as I have loved you. This command I give you. It is a new command. It was not just a request. It was a command. A command. Love one another as I have loved you. And as it was not enough, he said, now, do it in the memory of me. It was again a command. Do it in the altar. Be in communion. In the blessed sacrament, the Eucharist. In memory with me. And there Mary was doing that together with the apostles and disciples. So this peace that comes from the Spirit of God should be the work in our hearts. Should come from should come from our hearts. The peace that comes from the hearts of men and women, CMA, CWA, youth, and so forth. The church that is pilgrim, the church that is militant, the church that is triumphant. In that peace with you. And therefore, my prayer for you and for us today, as we live in the circumstances in which we are living, we are looking for elections. We are, we are, we are, we have, uh, we are going through many challenges. My prayer is this: that may the spirit of the peace.
that was created around Mary and through Mary into the disciples and to the world transform the hearts of all of us believers. The hearts of all of us believers. So that we believers may dissolve our hardness and soften ourselves. May dissolve our hardness. So that you are hard-hearted. You may be hard-hearted and soften ourselves towards the greater glory of God's work in our lives. May that spirit do that. May that spirit, may that spirit transform our hearts again. The hearts of our communities, the hearts of our families, the hearts of our cities, our towns, our villages, our counties, our country. So that hatred, jealousy, slander, injustices, indifference, and all sorts of those things may be may disperse and solidarity and communion may grow. Solidarity and communion may grow. Mary has done that in the lives of many nations. Mary has done that for many people who go for pilgrimages, pilgrims, for example, in Lourdes, in Fatima, is because that Mary has a special place in building of nations, building reconciliation between people, building reconciliation between people and God Himself. So may she, may she, whom we go to visit also in Lourdes, in in, 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 in Subokia, be our bridge to that what we need so that she may her love our love for her in which she will see jesus may dissolve all the hatred in families in groups in, may dissolve all the jealousy may dissolve the slanders that we have the injustices and i say deep indifferences may they be dispersed that we build a community that is one we are here to pray for this in our community in our pilgrim church, in our triumphant church, and in our militant church. May the spirit that we know that came through Mary into the community of God be in our hearts and the heart of our country so that it may be not just be caused by individualism and self-interest and sing in single groupings and such and crimes it may help us to overcome this may that spirit also illumine the minds our minds may it illumine our minds so, so that forgiveness so that mercy and so the sense of common good may abound in our midst, especially as a parent, a parish. Thank you and I congratulate you for seeing that and for living that. I appreciate it as I moved around to see the new structures you have brought in for our better, more evangelization. I've seen the structures that you have brought in when Madam was announcing the facilities for the toilets and succulent things. And you have done well, you have done them well, with a good heart and in good spirit. So may that heart, may that heart be good and always may that, that they were helping God to serve his people. Because God has no hands apart from your hands. God has no heart apart from your heart now. It was the heart, sacred heart of Jesus Christ. So is your heart sacred? Or is your heart evil? I wish you sacred hearts. So, so. And I wish you immaculate hearts. So, so. I, you, I wish you that. As you celebrate today, your family day. It is a wonderful time for you to be strengthened in that. So may that spirit, the spirit of Christ, that comes through the love of Mary into our hearts, the heart of our nation, the heart of every people that are in conflicts, 
in ethnic strife, may it come to us and to them, so that violent spirit may be disarmed and peace may be given chance and be strengthened. In our families, everywhere, may it, may it do so. And may that spirit also transform our hearts and the hearts of everybody. And even our midst, may it transform the hearts of those who have. The hearts of the rich people. And may they not compete. Rather, in their generosity, they may not compete for nothing else, but rather they compete in their generosity of serving the poor, those who don't have. Yeah, it is that. Mary said that. Mwe wangu na mutukuza, bwana. Kwa sabu, hame wafanya nini? Matajiri. Sia kwamba he was condemned, but she disarmed them for the good of themselves and good of others. It is a beautiful prayer. It's a beautiful prayer that brings us together as a family here. So may that spirit also, my dear people of God, transform our hearts, especially we Kenyans who are called corrupt. Who are called corrupt. Corrupt not only in the material, but corrupt. Corrupt even in the heart and in the mind. So na zema na kungamia mungu mwenyeza kwa zao ni mekoza kwa mawazo, kwa maneno, na kwa? Yeah, but when you talk of corrupt, you think it's only nikitendo. Inesa kuwa kwa moyo, hata pia kwa? Kwa mawazo. Being creatures of God, we pass through that. That's how we are, we are still, much as we are triumphant, we are still militant. We are still militant. So may that spirit of Mary, that helped her to come through that uncorruptible or uncorruptibly. May it that spirit help us, transform us, transform us, and transform our hearts so that we all may abandon the ways that are corrupted and set upon the path of growth and journey towards God, the militancy and the pilgrimage towards God by developing ourselves, our spirit, our minds, our bodies, and our environment, our neighbor. May that spirit come in us. And may that spirit also transform the hearts of every man and woman in our midst and children, so that they, so that we may discover the face of God, the Father of all, and the Father of consolation. The Father of consolation. That will happen if we trust in Mary and if we trust our church here as a mission as a shrine, that will happen. It will be a shrine like just another place like Lourdes where people go and they come back transformed. They leave everything there. It will be just like Fatima where people go and they come back, the ideas, the minds of war, warriorsness and so forth is not there. And they become, they come back transformed. Consolata is the same. Let us utilize it. So like Mary, our mother of consolation, who, who God is watching over us. God is watching over, over us. He protected Mary at, any, at all step. And for you, as you celebrate as a family, with your hearts resolved to follow the path of Mary, God protects you. You can travel from an iron carim to where Elizabeth was in the mountains, in the wilderness, alone, but God protects you. You can travel in your life with a lot of difficulties, sicknesses that bring darkness in your life and everything, but God protects you. You can have challenges and difficulties in your family, Tomorrow is going to break, break up and separate. But no, God watches over you. You may have anything. And you may have joy. But God celebrates with you. So I want you to know that. Because this idea of watching is, as we know it today, thanks to 
to uh, our curiosity and our curious cameras. Our curiosity and our curious cameras. I'm just using that to clarify watching over us. So curiosity and our curious cameras, when you go anywhere, even now, here, they will say we are often being watched by cold also maybe in this in this passionate eyes of the camera yeah everywhere you go today even in these days you are watched you are watched by the camera you go to the shop you are watched by the camera you come to the church you are watched by why why we know that see you yeah we are watched by the camera because they want to avoid people want to avoid wrong doing they want to avoid wrong doing that's watching the camera watches the big brother war watches but what i'm saying here mary in relationship with god and therefore god in relationship with us consolata the people of god who are being consoled by mary i want to emphasize this god is watching over us nothing will go wrong the feeling that someone is watching over us is always a lovely feeling it's always a lovely feeling and i want you to develop this feeling in yourselves the people of this parish that mary who prays for you ask god always to watch over you and to protect you from anything that is harmful to watch over you because watching you he knows you he knows me he knows everything so to protect you from anything that is harmful so allow god to watch over over you have that feeling that god is watching over you god is not watching you but is watching over you he is protecting you he is protecting you. that's the feeling mary had when she had to go to nothingness distance to meet elizabeth that is the feeling she had all she remained silent always when is the other son watching because god is watching over me even when things went so wrong with the son she knew god is watching over over me god protects me have that feeling parents mothers fathers have that feeling as you take care of your families have that feeling as you take care of your families the conviction that God is watching over us, I say again, gives us a lot of comfort, even in our weaknesses. And it gives us hope in times of despair. And it gives us hope in times of despair. So, this is what we are celebrating today. That God, who has brought Mary to be our consoler in our way of Christian, in our journey, in our pilgrim to God, in our triumphance, which is always tested by evil, and in our energy, in our power, which is to do good, to overcome evil. God watches over us through the intercession of Mary, mother of God. Mary consoles us. I don't want to say anything more than that, my dear people of God. I know God loves you. I know God loves you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Can you tell your neighbor God loves you? Another neighbor on your right? Ah, ah, that's good. Now, do you believe it? Are you believe? Can you tell Can you tell yourself God loves me? Again? Yeah, God loves you. God loves your neighbor, and God loves you, and God loves Father also. That's all. And He wants you to take care of one another as you live. As a family, as you live as a, a family. If you have any difficulty in yourself today, alafu unasikia kama roho yako ni mbaya umekuja tu kuomba ili kwamba usimpige your wife tonight. God loves you. See, achana na hiyo. Si ni kweli? Yeah, men do this. Men if you do like this, you are men we are not women what you we feel. But when a man is angry, he becomes stronger in himself. The muscle folds. And when they fall, even the eyes start becoming red. Miguel, 
ya mishiba inaanza kumea and you know when we reach that stage we are dying five minutes earlier we are dying five minutes anger si mzuri si kweli yeah and it can come through families enjoy your family sawa sawa yeah when you are kina mama amegazika anafanya nini eh wanapiga nduru eh what do they do you know it is here yeah uh, that one also it can reduce your life by one minute sawa sawa if you are going to live hundred years and a minute it becomes only hundred yes mary overcame that and that's why she was the consoler she consoled even joseph by having a life and joseph journey to that protecting her giving her the protection that god himself was giving her together with jesus christ so you are in a wonderful parish you are in a wonderful shrine you are in a wonderful family be proud of your family so so yeah so love god and god will love you ikweli yeah he love even more take care of your parish priests and your priests and they will take care of you ikweli take care of you and another and one another the others will take care of you so so that is what is in the family let us share the joy of being together and the joy of being together the beauty of being a christian in your family in your christian family and the joy of proclaiming the truth which is consolation which is love which is mercy which is peace it's a wonderful thing so munga wa bariki do you have any question no question so so if you have no question i want to stop there i want to tell you rejoice Sasa. So rejoice on your feast day. Don't be sad. Okay, Asante. I kind of invite you we reflect for one minute. You have heard that his grace has given us very rich reflections today. So as we are celebrating this day, can we let us reflect for a while for through the disomery the way this grace has challenged us to reflect about our life We kind of now rise and profess our faith. I believe in one God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. The only begotten Son, born of the Virgin and of the Holy Spirit, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial of God, through Him all things were made, and under the Father's creation, He kept down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated by the Virgin Mary, and He came to Him.
merciful God and Lord, in this day when we celebrate Mary, our mother and our counselor, we come to you humbled in our prayers. We request you to be pleased to grant us our wishes and needs through the intercession of Our Lady of Consolata. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the church, Heavenly Father, look upon the church of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in her many struggles and joys all over the world. We ask for your blessings upon our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the bishops, the clergy, the religious men and women, and all those who teach faith. May the Holy Spirit lead and inspire them to always do what is right. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now we pray for the Consolata missionaries. प्रभु हमारे पिता हम आपको धन्य योसेफ अलमानो उपहार के लिए धन्यवाद देते हैं जिन्होंने दुनिया में कंसलाटा मिशनरी सभा स्थापना की हाल ही में अपने हमें अपने प्यारे सेवकों धन्य आयरिन स्टेफनी और धन्य लियोनोला के उपहार के साथ आशीर्वाद दिया है जो लगातार पूरे दुनिया में मिशन के लिए हस्तक्षेप कर रहे हैं उनकी ही मायत के मध्यम से हम मारिया कौंसलाचा परिवार के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि वे जहां कहीं भी हो ये आपको लोगों की सेवा करते हुए आराम संस्थावाना और आनंद पाए उन्हें जीवन में पहले संत और बाद में मिशनरी बनने के लिए प्रेरित करें हे प्रभु कृपया हमारी प्रार्थना सुनिए लॉर्ड हियर अस लॉर्ड ग्रेशियसली हियर अस फॉर द सेक एंड दोस इन ग्रेट नीड Voor de zieken en zij in grote nood. Vader van goedheid en liefde, hoor onze gebeden voor de zieke leden van onze gemeenschap en voor allen die in nood zijn. Te midden van mentaal en fysiek lijden mogen zij troost vinden in uw genezende aanwezigheid. Toon uw genade als u wonden sluit, ziekten geneest, gebroken lichamen heelt. en neergeslagen geesten bevrijd. Mogen al onze zieke familieleden en vrienden blijvende gezondheid en verlossing vinden en dus samen met ons u bedanken voor uw giften. Wij vragen dit door onze Heer Jezus 
die hen genas en in u geloofden. Heer, hoor ons. Lord, hear us. For all families, Mungu Baba, tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya zawadi ya familia zetu, kwa wazazi, watoto na jamii pana. Tunakuomba familia zetu ziwe nguzo muhimu ya usawa katika jamii. Utujarie mahitaji ya kuwezesha familia kunawili kwa upendo na umoja utakayowezesha watoto katika familia hizo kuafikia fi, ndoto zao za siku za usoni tunakuomba utuzidishie amani na urafiki katika familia na kutuwezesha kutatua changamoto zinazojiri hasa wakati huu wenye ugumu wa maisha lord hears for our country Ah Rudwa wabiroiri kaka jopinyi kawa lemo ne jotendwa mwachio mogo kinde yero edwe maraburu ye mondo roho mari otagi mondo gitel noa eyokwe bende wakwai ah Rudwa mondi konyo e kinde covid ni gimi dierni matuoni okelo go, obiro godo e Kenya Gipinje duto Lord hear us Lord gracious hear us We pray with Mary our mother consolata Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now that you are forgiven amen oh god and father of all these are our prayers and the many we have in our hearts grant them your heart desire and our heart desire through christ our lord amen We now start our offertory. Kindly note that this is the normal offertory that would be put in the boxes or sent by Mpesa. Our gifts um, and our family harvest or our matega will be presented after communion. The let's join the choir as we sing the offertory songs on page seven of our program. Thank you.
Yeah. 
Sacrifice and you eyes may be acceptable with God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our glory and glory of Lord, we offer you these gifts and ask you to sanctify your people gathered in the name and under the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through her intercession, may we be filled with consolation and share it all with our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to celebrate you, Father most holy, who through the Virgin Mary has sent us Jesus Christ, consolation of the human race. He, the humble daughter of Zion, received you, read your word in faith at the announcement of the angel and became the temple of the divinity. With infallible love, she bore the Savior in her womb, serving him in his work with stumbling charity, she became the mother of all the life of the living, but at the same time, she uh, the most exalted fruit of the redemption, which shines for us as a sign of sure hope and comfort. As we tirelessly announce your glory among the peoples for the mystery of salvation. We join the angels and saints in joyfully proclaiming your glory as we say. <laughs> Created rightly gives you praise 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, it will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sap was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. your faith. Passion of your Son and His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will recontract yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, or in the Consolata, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, blessed Joseph Alamano, Irene Stephanie, Leonel Escobarat, and all the saints on whose constant assertion in your presence we rise for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip Agnolo, our bishop with us in this Mass, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who we are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, and unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amina, 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 Amina,
informed and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are waiting the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in according to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us have each other a sign of peace of Christ. <laughs> away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. And when you see the world, and my soul shall be in And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
prayer after communion. So Prayer after communion, let us all kneel. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, enabrate me. Water from Christ's side, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. At the hour of our death, call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. Prayer for the Synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. for post community prayer. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord, in this celebration, in honor of the mother of your son, we have been nourished by the Paschal Sacrament and grant that by experiencing in ourselves the joyful message of the resurrection, we may always walk full of hope for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. We can do sit down. We change a bit for our program, but it's going to continue the way it was. But His grace has asked this moment, there is a message you would like to pass through the media, the people have come, they have come just now. So, your grace, welcome. Hello, good afternoon again. So, we We have this message that we are communicating to the people of God on every Sunday in different dioceses. Today we are communicating to the people of God in Kenya in this our church in this during this our family day. Here with me. So here with me is Father Patrick Ndumu. He is the one in charge of justice and peace in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. We have our news people from very different types of different media houses. They will wish to collect this message 
so that it is sent to all the people of goodwill, especially our Catholics as we talk to you in this church and to all of them all over in Kenya. So, So my beloved Kenyans and beloved people of God, we the Catholic bishops continue our weekly engagement with you as we move closer to the general elections in August this year. We bring to you a message of hope that if each one of us does his or her part responsibly, we shall hold peaceful general elections. We Kenyans must all commit to play our part in keeping peace and refuse to be incited at all. This week, our concern touches on the very essence of our Christian witness rooted in our faith in God, and that is care for one another and especially for the feeble or the weak in our society. In concrete terms, we want to address the demands of human welfare. These demands are closely connected to the cost of living, which is touching every citizen in this country. The cost of living. Beloved Christians and fellow Kenyans, we, your shepherds, know that life is increasingly becoming unbearable for families with meager resources. Business in the informal sector demands a lot of good governance to create an enabling environment which is compromised by corruption. Kenyans are very hard-working people. In spite of the economic challenges they are going through. However, we take consolation in the encouragement of St. Paul in the following words. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not, in, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. In relation to this, we are cognizant of the fact that our country is blessed with the many resources that often are misused and lost and lost due to me, a massive corruption in the public institutions. We are deeply concerned about this situation of cost of living and now wish to address it briefly. First, we are calling on all politicians and people seeking elective positions to flag and address the current economic crisis for the common people, for the common Kenyans. It's indeed surprising that while drought and hunger loom in our borders, the increase in the price of the most basic foods and items is heightened and hiked to almost double and yet the government and most of the political aspirants are silent about it. It is not enough to decry it. We need to hear solutions and how the new leaders will cushion the poor in this economic crunch. 
we are in concerned that this situation may be used for, uh, by, by aspirants to exploit the sufferings of others for personal gains. We believe that the outgoing elected leaders would have done much more in putting in place mechanisms to mitigate the effects of the perennial droughts now severe in parts of our country. We run the risk that leaders who will be elected in different elective positions may follow the same trend whereby they do not attend to the well-being of the poor and destitute, but focus on themselves at increasing their salaries. Those seeking election or elective positions should tell us their specific plan to lower cost of living in order to improve the, economic, the economy without deflecting responsibility by finger pointing or blaming external factors. They need to commit not to increase the salaries, which is their salaries. Number two, let us be simply moved by the care of our poor brothers and our poor neighbors. As our Lord Jesus Christ taught, in the great commandment of love, if your neighbor is hungry, offer him or her something to eat. I was hungry and you gave me to something to eat. So says the Lord in Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40. Many Kenyans are hungry. The cost of living is rising. Inflation is soaring. And all of us are called to come to the aid of our neighbor. However, the leaders, both national and county, by their office and responsibility, should go out of their way more to do so. We urge the national government to move with speed to lower the prices of basic commodities like maize flour, maize and beans, cooking fat, kerosene, so that families can afford to meet their basic needs. Kenyans need an urgent intervention from the county and the national governments now, not even tomorrow. Number three, dear Kenyans, the economy of this country is in our hands. During our general elections, politicians want to make us believe life will start after the elections and things will suddenly become good. We are fed with this false and empty hope that never comes to be a reality. Often the politicians promise goodies and handouts, promising free things without a base or how or from where they will be financed. The political promises of millions and billions for this and that is insufficient in ensuring we meet our basic needs. We specifically need to ask those seeking elective positions what plans they have to create the right economic atmosphere, even improving our agriculture and not what free things they will give us. Number four, the international debt of our country has reached alarming levels. Unfortunately, a lot of this money has often gone to wrong use through corruption. Besides showing how they will ensure funds are rightly used, our inspiring leaders ought to tell us the strategy they intend to put in place to address both debt repayment and management going forward in order to improve the welfare of the citizens of our country. In conclusion, 
dear Kenyans, on our part as active citizens in the country and in the governance of how our economy is managed, we need not only continue working hard, but also ensure that we creatively become more innovative and in the premier to increase our revenue streams as all level, at all levels, beginning with the family levels. May God, who gives you and who gives us graces in abundance every day, strengthen our resolve to right and to wrong in this country. Support our support us to listen and to help one another as brothers and sisters and as post elections during the time of elections and after post elections that we may live in peace and commit to ourselves developing the country economically and in solidarity with one another as nationals of Kenya. Let us work together as we go towards the election time. This is in August 9th, 2022. My dear Kenyans and my dear people here today, may God bless you as we continue praying over these issues that we have mentioned, that through our leaders, God will also manage to change the situations in which we are living, the situations by alleviating poverty, alleviating illnesses, and alleviating the suffering of the people of God in this country. And may God bless you all and thank you very much. For any, any further consultations and questions, we shall do it after Mass, because this was meant to address only the congregants during this Mass, and it's not an express, an express release that is within the church, within the Mass. But a press release can come out of Mass after this. So welcome, and may God bless you, our dear journalists and our dear people who are listening. Let us hearken to God's call in going for elections and voting, and voting wisely, namely knowing that we are voting the people whom we know God will use to develop our country and to enhance in dig dignity and integrity in our lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's clap our feet. We continue from where we left Kandiri. We will now invite the Thanksgiving song from the children to come over. The people from Media now will give way so that the, the children will come for Thanksgiving. Please come immediately so that from there we hand over the program, the program to the to MC. So please, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving song, Thanksgiving song. Yes. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you. Please be seated. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. That's his nature. Wow. As um, tradition during family day, we have obviously cooked loads of good food. So please stay with us. Lunch will be served straight after, after, after this celebration. But now, as per tradition, on, on uh, family day, we normally bring forward our harvest. So now we get into the harvest. We request that you remain seated until the ushers direct you to come forward with your harvest so that we can have a bit of order. So choir will lead us in the harvest song, Karibuni.
2022, the rosary will be prayed in front of the blessed sacra- in front of the blessed sacrament after the one o'clock mass. Next Sunday as well, 3rd July, we will have the blessing of our tithe, our families, and our work at the end of all masses. Please come prepared. Next Saturday, 2nd July, 
there will be an ongoing formation for the children who received First Holy Communion in the years of 2019 to 2021 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the parish hall. We kindly request all to be putting on masks properly as they enter the church and during confessions. As, we, as we're celebrating the feast of Our Lady Consolata and Family Day, the pastoral team is thanking all of you for your collaboration, unity, and support of our parish. Thank you for your prayers and contributions, your generous offer, and uh, the, the way you generously offered them to our parish. May God continue blessing you as you respond to the call he has given each one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless all of you. May Our Lady Consolata intercede for you always. There will be a distribution of cakes um, after Mass today at 5 p.m. I would now like to invite our moderator, Mr. George Kihara, for a few remarks. Karibu. Makopi Kwansi. Your Grace, Light Lefred, Archbishop Philip Arnold Anyoro, Justice and Peace, Archdiocese Chaplain Father Patrick Domo, our own pastoral team led by our parish priest, Father Jackson Murugara assisted by Father Joachim Kamau and Father Paul Maina, all the religious men and women present, seminarian catechists, the Paris Pastoral Council, the Aramano Board, all Christians, good afternoon. To Musifu Yesu Christu. God is good and all the time. That is his nature. Wow. Happy feast day. Your grace, I take this opportunity from the Paris Council to welcome you into Costrata Shrine Parish. And I cannot do it alone because the parishioners are the ones who have invited you. And we know immediately you are installed to the Abbey Actual Diocese of Nairobi, Archbishop. You accepted to put in your busy diary to come and rejoice with us this great day. So, kindly parishioners, let us all start up so that we be able to welcome our great his grace archbishop philip arnold anyoro kwa makofi na shangwe makofi matatu ya kilo kwa shangwe mingi let us all welcome him by telling him your grace welcome to Constructor Shrine Paris. Let us all say that. You are grace. Welcome to Constructor Shrine Paris. Karibu na uskie ukiwa nyubani. Karibu na uskie ukiwa nyubani. Makofi tena. You may be seated. Let's now also welcome, as you have heard from yourselves, you have heard that the justice and peace chaplain is here. Although he has just right and left, he is allowed. Father Patrick Dongo, kindly welcome him kwa makofi mawiri. This is really a great day. Because our own Father Jackson Murugara have 14 days ago celebrated his 25 years of religious life. 
Kind of let's appreciate Father Jackson Morugana. Today really is a great day because being a family day, we have a special visitor. Why special? Because as a family, we have a mother who is a hundred years old, is here with us, and none other but the mother to father Joachim Kamau. She is accompanied by the sister to Father Joaquin Karamau and I'll kindly request Mam Ogamatu. Ogamatu. That is the mother to Father Joaquin Karamau and the younger sister, Ikaraide. Today again is also a great day because apart from what we experience here. We as a parish, we are going to have a great day because with three occasions happening the same day, being uh, the late, our lady Consolata feast day, being a family day and celebrating the 25 years of pastoral, of religious life, we cannot take it for granted. So we really appreciate that. So for that, I will be able to welcome you, all of you, into this great day because apart from the celebrations, we have the religious who are always with us at all times. They never leave us, they participate, they work together with us. So all the religious men and women present today, Kaide welcome all of them. Kaide parishioners help me to welcome all the religious men and women. We also welcome the people who have been participating with us Today they chose and they adhered to the request to cross the church and come and be with us. And this is St. Joseph Deep Sea. We cannot also forget we have other special visitors all the way from Meru Diocese, Materi Parish. So the people from Materi Paris, kindly start wherever you are. That is a team from Materi Paris. From the Rakanidi, may be seated. And the square father Joaquim was serving before he left for Brazil. And it's also the palace. It's also the diocese for Father Joaquim. You see, this is a family day. All the way from Nyeri. Meru and us, we are all celebrating together. So I take this opportunity, we will come, all of you, and don't forget the people who are prepared this day to welcome you. That is the CWA, the CMA, the choirs, the youth, the order servers, and PMC. Can you welcome with them, all of them, in a special way? And tell your neighbor, happy feast day. Happy and tell the other neighbor, happy family day. Sherekeni isi kukubwa na mkaribu sana. Back to MC. Asante ni sana. Asante sana buwana kihara. Makofi kwa moderator. We now get into the next part. Um, our groups have been practicing for so many days and so many nights and in the spirit of celebration as our moderator has told us we would like to invite the um, Consolata PMC to give us two songs to start us off with this celebration so um, teacher Theo and the Consolata PMC Karibuni Sana the stage is, is yours and then straight after that the Consolata Youth with a with a song so karibuni sana let's clap for them as they come in to encourage them
Sana. Let's clap for them. Thank you, children, for reminding us that we are the church. I'd like to invite the Consolata youth to come forward and do their piece, the Consolata youth. And as they are coming forward, I'd like to remind everyone that we have a lot of food ready that will be served straight after this. And the, there'll be a lot of entertainment for the children, so please don't go home. And just to note, um, the entertainment is for children, anyone between 0 and 75. So if you want to bounce on the bouncing castle, and you're that age, Karibuni Sana. There'll be camel rides, face painting, so only between 0 and 75. So Consolata Youth, Karibu Sana. Straight after the Consolata Youth, I'd like the Deep Sea team to get ready. Thank you. Clap for them as they come in. Thank you.
am feeling blue. We want back is so true. We want back is so true. Wani she come kono. Wani she come kono. Ma best to walk you on a wondo. Ma best to walk you on a wondo. You always meet you quite you. And make me feel like it too cool. And when I feel chinny, quite chinny, me me, una mi fa na mi ami ni. We we a ni mtamza asali, kuku penda si ajali. I cannot trade you for Mali, waki ni cheka si jali, me me a. I know your love will never go. It's unconditional, oh oh. So oh 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 oh, Najua, your love will never go. My best friend, I'm walking in Tanzania. Najua, we're in Tanzania. You are more beautiful than the rainbow Cause with you I never feel hollow And I don't wanna let you go Na 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 Nime chaka za mti mama Wewe wea Nimta mja asali Kukupenda si ajali I cannot trade you for Mali Wakini cheka si jali Nimi a I know your love will never go. It's unconditional, oh oh oh. So oh 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 oh. We we a mimtamja asali, kukupenda si ajali. I cannot trade you for Mali. Wakini cheka si jali. Me me a. I know your love will never go. It's unconditional, oh oh oh. So oh 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 oh. We we a. Nimtamja asali, kukupenda si ajali I cannot trade you for Mali, wakini cheka si jali Nimi, ah, I know your love will never go It's unconditional, oh 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 So, oh 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 Najua, your love will never go Thank you so much. Another round of applause for them. Next is the PMC from uh, Deep Sea with a poem. I've been told they, even they can, uh, they would like to show off their poetry skills. They've been practicing for a while. So Deep Sea, uh, PMC, please come forward with your poem. And then straight after that, we'll have the CWA from uh, Deep Sea. Please give them a round of applause as they come in. Wakristu watu wa konsolata pamoja na wageni wetu mbele yenu ni watoto mtakatifu Yusufu tayari kuwakaliria shairi kichwa mama Maria konsolata karibu ni nyote mstareheke mwekimike asante mama Maria konsolata kimbilio langu wakati wowote wa baba kwa wa mama vijana kwa watoto pamoja na makasisi pia maaskofu 
Sikukupe ya mama yetu Tushiriki kwa furaha Mama Maria Consolata Kimilio langu wakati wawote Mama mwenye huruma Misimamizi wa parokia yetu Sisi wanau tuwame Kila tunapo kuitaji Mama Maria Consolata Kimilio langu wakati wawote Asante sasa na wetu mama Uzidi kutukumbuka Yetu imani wiline Kanisa diongezeke Asante Nani mama wakanisa Santeni sana Tuwakaribishe CWA From DFC Kariboni sana
Ajipata Ajipata kushukuru entertainment after lunch so please stick around now we have the choir members with a Marian song the choir members who are ready come forward with a Marian song for for us and as they come forward I just want to clarify something I've been asked no I am not the clown there's actually a real clown outside to entertain you it's not me so just to clarify that choir members please please we keep time thank you and straight after that, we have our friends, a group from Mary Immaculate Complex, to be ready with their choral bus. Choir members, Kariboni. Um, good afternoon. Uh, this is a, a song from, uh, composed by Mozart. It's called Ave Maria. It's a very short song. It's in the form of a round. Yeah. So I hope uh, we will be seeing more of you coming to join our choir. We need your voices. God gave you an ability. Do not hide it. He will ask you when you go up to heaven, what did you do with your voice? Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much. A round of applause for that beautiful song. Thank you. I'd like to allow me to invite the group from uh, Mary Immaculate with their choral verse to present for us. And as they are coming through, I know our CWA, our CMAs have been challenged by the previous group from Dipsy. So next year, yeah, we are looking at you. <laughs> we are looking at you. Karibuni sana. Another round of applause for them. I would like to welcome the band for our final presentation. Yeah. 
this is a band from many immaculate conflicts. Thank you so much. We've come to the end of that uh, section where we've been challenged, we've been entertained, and you know we've learned a few things here and there. Now I'd like to invite Mr. Patrick Nderitu um, to take us through the the next part, um, including the gifting of the Archbishop. get ready to gift the Archbishop. The CMA have got something special uh, prepared for, for our guest of honor today.
Perhaps choir can sing just one song. Okay, just to, so, sorry choir, just to save on time, I'll ask uh, Mr. Patrick Nderito to just come and uh, do the vote of thanks as uh, CMA is preparing. Bwana Patrick Karibu. Makofi kwake. Asanteni sana. God is good. And all the time. Happy this day. Uh, his Grace at Bishop Agnolo, the Justice and Peace Chaplain, Father Patrick, clergy, the religious, uh, pastoral team, and the Alamano board, fellow parishioners, to Msifu Yesu Christu. I won't give a speech. I know he's headed to two, we are hungry. So I've just been given the honorable task of moving the vote of thanks, I'll go straight to it. And uh, first is to thank our almighty ever living God for blessing us, for making this day a success. We just planned, he's brought it to fruition. We thank him for all his gifts. The gift also of our lady consolata who always intercedes for us. Next, I'd like to give very special thanks to our Bishop His Grace Philip Panyoro for visiting us and agreeing to lead the festivities. Asante Sana. Then I'd like to thank all the groups that have entertained us. Uh, this includes PMC, Consolata, the Youth Consolata, CWA uh, Deep Sea, PMC Deep Sea, Mary Immaculate, who taught us not to be TB and also brought a band. We really thank you. And special thanks to the band also for leading the procession. Uh, then I would like to thank all of you parishioners. We invited you. You've come up in big numbers. You've turned out to welcome our bishop. Our bishop. Uh, we are indeed grateful. We knew you didn't let us down. Give a big love to yourself, Consolata Parishioner. <laughs> then uh, lastly, I'd like to thank the organizing committee. My committee, please stand wherever you are. Uh, that is the team that was putting together uh, this event. And of course, it was led by CWA, uh, CMA, the youth, uh, PMC, and also the Jumuya, the small Christian communities, in addition to Legio and the Consolata Day missionaries. So please also give them a big clap. And lastly, I'd like to thank our service providers. You can see the wonderful tent. Though we are paying them, they went an extra mile. Uh, I also want to thank the caterer, because uh, I know the food will be great. And uh, my speeches will end there. It's quarter to two, we are hungry. Thank you so much, Bonanderito. Good, as um, Bonanderito has alluded to, we have plenty of food straight after this. There'll be a beautiful cake, so stay around. So I'd like to welcome CMA to come and present our special gift to the Archbishop, to his grace. As per African tradition, we bring him alive and well. <laughs> Good. 
Good, thank you so much. We've come to the end of this. Um, special thanks to, to the choir for all the good work you've done and to the proclaimers and altar servants. Please clap for them. I would now like to hand over back to Father Jackson. Father. God is good. Are there other time? I think the celebration is going on well, no? Yes. Yeah, we continue. Remember, after this section candidate, we'd like to be here, all of us. We share all of us as a family. This, you know, children, they have told us we are the church as a family working together. This is what we also we are reflecting these days in the theme of our synodality. So thank God. At this particular time, again, I think it's worth well to continue thanking His grace for having found his time to come at the visa today. Can we clap for him again, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, for grace. Now, I'm going to add over to his grace. He's going to bless us after the, he's, he's, he's going to give us, maybe he's commenting, like to give us, then he's going to bless us. Immediately after blessing, the CWA moderator, he will pray, she will pray for the food, and they also cake will be here so that we cut and go. From there now, we start celebrating. Children, bouncing cars on the other side, waiting for you. But they sit there in the compound, will be entertaining us. So now celebration is yours. So I can now to invite his grace to do his comment, and then he will bless us. Then immediately, see the video can a chairperson, pray for, for us. Then the cake should be here, so that now we can't, and then we go. Thank you. Welcome, your grace. So my dear, Brothers and sisters, my dear family of Consolata, today is still our feast. The feast of Consolata, the feast of the family. Let us celebrate. I want to bless you that you go to celebrate. So we can stand. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may he bless you and may he guide you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Mass is ended. We meet again soon. Thank you. See the video, Chairperson, please, to pray for the food. Allow me to say something, Father. Can we sit down a bit, please? As women, we always feel we would like to say something, and especially to his Grace, Bishop Panyoro, who was our chaplain at the National Council, and he, he taught us how to be strong in faith. We want to assure you, Your Grace, that we are still striving to be strong in faith. I want to thank you in particular because you have addressed the issues to the national government which affect the woman in particular, besides the family, has struggled to put food on the table, besides her husband and whoever else is concerned. We thank you for that. I also would like to thank the CWA members who came here 7.30 in the morning so that they can meet you face to face and tell you you are welcome to Consolata Shrine. Clap for yourselves. The other one I want to thank Deep Sea uh, Father Jackson, when we were asked to, to, to send a team to the dinner, we knew Father Wabua was a, a camber. <laughs> so in my small thinking, I went to Deep Sea and asked who are the cambers so that we can win. <laughs> I got that team, and this team has been my pride because they took the cup and CWA Consolata was recognized in the Central Deanery. <laughs> and they will continue doing that. And we also are um, also challenged that the parish itself should also have a team which will also go together with the St. Joseph Deep Sea. Uh, before I pray for the food, I want to tell the people where they will go because we are always very organized here, Your Grace. And you will look for where you are supposed to go. The first tent is the parent with the kids under six years. The second tent, third tent, fifth tent, 
Sixth sense is for all the others. The palace council and uh, the guests, you know where you go. And uh, I would like to say the cake is being managed by the class of 2021 and the class of 2022. And they will bring it here in front uh, with a song because we also like, love, love singing. Mary Immaculate. The girls have challenged us. As parents, you have heard what they have told you. Please take note and correct where you have gone wrong. Thank you. And for those few remarks, allow me to ask the class right there to bring the cake with your dancing. Can somebody give them a mic, please? Keki ya chale, keki ni tamu, ae. 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 Tunareta keki, keki ni tamu, ae. Keki ni tamu, ae. Keki ya chale, keki ni tamu, ae. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we thank you for many gifts, the gift of life, the gift of uh, such a celebration, dear Father, and the gift of our grace and our priests, and all those people who have attended this, uh, this gathering. We ask you, dear Lord, to bless this cake when we eat to get it with, together with our food, which we have prepared for these people that we may bless it. When we eat it, we may have the strength to serve you. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Okay, the brothers and sisters, please let us meet at the auditorium after this so that we can share what there is. The executive will come here and we will, we will and with my me here, we will cut the cake with the bishop, with the archbishop. Mom, mom, Kuya, Kuya, Father, Archbishop. Gata, 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 Gata. Tunaigojea Kata, kata Kata, kata Kata keki kata Kaka keki kata Keki, na bishofu ape, 
na bishop, pewa na bishop, pewa na na mama pewe keki, na mama pe mama we tu pewa mama we tu pe mama we tu a pewe keki, father we tu a pewe keki. Father, where to a pewe? Father, where to water? Father, where to what? Father, where to what? Father, my na ana gojea. Father, my na ana. Father, my na pewa. Father, my na pe. Father, my na ana gojea. What to what they want to go God is good at the other time. Now we can ask the choir to read us the exit song. And the choir and the, the other servers will come on our exit as they, they cont you continue sharing the cake. And then from there, we go over for our lunch. So please, choir, read us the exit song.
ilikuwa ni tarehe 26 mwezi wa Juni mwaka wa 2022 tumekita kambi hapa katika kanisa la Walady of Consolata ama kupenda Consolata Shrine iloko eneo la Westland kwenye jimbo kukatoliki la Nairobi na kumbuka mbali na ibada ya misa takatifu pia ilikuwa ni siku ya kifamilia na pia ni siku kuu ya wa Lady of Consolata na mhubiri wa siku ama kiongozi wa ibada alikuwa askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo askofu wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi ambaye katika mahubiri yake alihimiza waumini wawe na imani dhabiti mbali na changamoto wanazozipitia na mpe wa mpe Mungu kipaumbele katika maisha yao na pia kati mbali na ibada ya misa ama mahubiri ya siku aliweza kutoa ujumbe wa maskofu wa kila siku ama ujumbe wa baraza la maskofu ujumbe wa, wa matumaini kwa ajili ya uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka wa mbili na katika walikazia zaidi katika ujumbe huo wa baraza la maskofu ambaye askofu uh, askofu Filipa Nyolo alikazia zaidi mahitaji ya watu wa mapato wa chini hasa wakati huu uchumi wa Kenya unapoendelea kuongezeka kila uchao na huku akimiza viongozi wanaowania kiti tofauti tofauti na pia serikali ya county na ile serikali ya ngazi ya juu ama national government kutilia ama manani maisha ama wape kipambele watu wa mapato wa chini ama kupenda wahitaji katika jamii lakini kwa mengi tunaungana na hapa wale waliohudhuria misa takatifu tujue tupate maoni yao pia hujambo si jambo karibu asante naomba ujitambulishe kwa majina naitwa Emos Soche na ni mshiriki wa kanisa hili ndio eh so uh, labda siku ya leo maoni yako ni nini ama unachoambia nini kuhusu siku ya leo siku ya leo ni siku ya familia katika Consolata Shrine na tumekuwa na baba askofu uh, Archbishop Philip Anyolo na ametukumbisha mengi aso wakati huo akwenda kwenye uchaguzi mkuu na zaidi kwamba wanasiasa na sisi kama wa Kenya wote tuna jukumu la kuwa uh, everyone's keeper yani tuwajali wenzetu aswa wale ambao wana wenye mapato ya chini na kwamba wanasiasa waweze kufanya siasa nzuri ambayo inawajali kila mmoja na pia uh, tuweze kuwa na amani katika nchi yetu ndio katika ujumbe wa baraza la maskofu ya kila Jumapili ambapo leo umekuwa zamu yake ya askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo walikazia zaidi kuhusu mahitaji ya watu uh, mapato ya chini ama wahitaji katika jamii ambapo tunaona uh, uchumi wa Kenya unaendelea kupanda kila uchao labda maoni yako kuhusu ujumbe wa maskofu ama baraza la maskofu nipi Maskofu kama wachungaji wana nia nzuri na kwanza wamekumbusha wanasiasa kwamba uh, maisha imekuwa ikipanda na kwamba wanasiasa wale wanayoyasema ni tofauti sana na yale ambayo mtu wa kawaida anategemea kwa mfano wakipatiana ahadi na wanajua vizuri kwamba hizo ahadi uh, labda baada ya uchaguzi hizo ahadi hazitakuwa za kukamilika uh, zingine ni kama kusema tutawapatia vitu za bure na kwa kika tunajua ni vigumu sana kupatia watu vitu za bure. Kwa hiyo uh, maskofu wanasema ni kuna haja ya kuwa na njia ambayo ni dhabiti ya kuwasaidia wananchi uh, badala kuambia watapata vitu za bure na hawatapata hizo vitu za bure. Ndio alitaja kuwa wanasiasa wa, 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 wa viongozi wanawapa waumini sio waumini wapigaji kura mm -hmm. e, hadi chungu nzima Dio. lakini baada ya kura usaulika hiyo ni kawaida uh, kawaida katika nchi hii ama katika nchi yote kwamba wanasiasa huja na ahadi nyingi tu za wakati wa kura lakini baada ya kura uh, kila mtu na njia yake uh, wanasiasa wanaishi maisha yao Uh, watu wa kawaida wananchi wanaishi maisha yao na inakuwa kwamba kuna hizo kama kutengana so maskofu wanasema kuna haja ya kuwa kitu kimoja kwamba zile ahadi tunasema ziwe ahadi ambazo zinaweza kutimilika lakini zisiwe ahadi tu kwamba uh, mambo mengi yatafanywa na baadaye hayafanywi kawaida 
uh, si kwamba wanasiasa ya awatimizi lakini yale promise yanakuwa mingi kuliko uh, vile tunavyotarajia ndio na pia twajua mara nyingi wakati wa uchaguzi fikapo kuna ghasia na mambo mengi mavurugu yana yana yanaibuka as maskofu pia walikazia zaidi kuhusu imani na umuhimu wa amani katika eh, nchi yetu wakati tunapoelekea uchaguzi mkuu ndio manake wakati wa uchaguzi Uh, watu ufikiria kwamba maisha itaanza vizuri tena baada ya uchaguzi. Kwa hiyo kuna kuna haja ya kuwa na amani kwa sababu kwa watu kwa kuna wasiwasi wana biashara wana wasiwasi kama ni watu wale investors unakuta kwamba wameshikilia pesa zao hataki kutumia uh, watu wajui kutakuwaje lakini tukiwa na amani uh, ni jambo la muhimu kwa sababu tunajua kwamba immediately baada tu ya uchaguzi uh, maisha yetu itaendelea vizuri kama kawaida. Mm-hmm. Maneno yako ya mwisho? Maneno yangu ya mwisho ni kwamba sisi kama wakenya tuwe na matumaini, tuwe na amani na kwamba ndio maisha ni ngumu lakini nafikiria uh, kupitia kwa njia ya maombi uh, maisha yetu maisha itakuwa nafu siku za uh, siku zijazo. Kwa hiyo tuwe tu na matumaini. Ndio. Shukran. Asante. Wanasema kwaya ni wito na kuimba ni, ni komba mara tatu tunaye hapa pia mwana kwaya naomba ujitambulishe eh, kwa, ma, kwa majina naitwa Abisera Wairimo Kirori mimi ni muibaji wa hapa Consolata Shrine na leo tunasherehekea siku kuu ya mwakilishi wetu Maria Consolata tuko na furaha sana uh, na ibada yetu imekuwa ya kufana kutoka ikiongozwa na Archbishop uh, Philip Anyolo. Na labda ni siku kuu ya kusherekea Mama Consolata, our Lady of Consolata. Je, mbona hasa siku maalumu umetengwa kwa ajili yake? Uh, uh, hii siku huwa kawaida inasherehekewa tarehe 20 kila uh, mwezi wa June. E, makubusho ya mwakilishi wa shirika la Consolata. Uh, hii shrine iko katika ulinzi wa na uongozi wa mapadri na masista wa Consolata Shrine. Wa Consolata uh, Consolata. Uh, kwa hivyo uh, tunamsherehekea kama mwakilishi, muombezi na uh, na konsora wetu katika uh, 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 shrine hii katika mahubiri yake baba uh, askofu ama mwashamu askofu alitaja wa mama kama nguzo muhimu katika jamii na pia siku hii kama siku muhimu sana hasa kwa wa mama je maoni yako ni ipi uh, unajua wa mama ndio uh, wanayotunza familia ukakamafu wa wamama katika kila uh, juhudi kutoka kwa familia kwenda kwa vikundi barabari na hasa hata hapa kwetu uh, katika shrine hii yetu ya Consolata tumeona wamama wa kikundi sa cha wamama sa cha CWA wamejikakamua na dio wameongoza katika juhudi kubwa sana wamama wako na nguvu sana na pia katika sherehe kama hii tunaona wamama wanashikilia familia zao na wanashikilia vikundi barabari kwa maobi shukran asanti ni maoni tu ya wachache na kumbuka kiongozi wa ibada alikuwa askofu Philip Anyolo na mbali na ibada ya misa ilikuwa siku ya kifamilia na pia siku kuu ya wa Lady of Consolata na mbali na mahubiri pia askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo aliweza kutoa ujumbe wa matumaini kwa waumini na watu wa mapenzi mema wote hasa ujumbe unaokazia zaidi kuhusu mahitaji ya watu wa mapato ya chini ama wahitaji katika jamii na alimiza viongozi wadio wanao wania viti mbalimbali na pia wa, e, viongozi katika serikali serikali ya county na yangazi ya juu kuangalia masla ya watu wa mapato ya chini haswa wakati huu ambapo gharama ya maisha inaendelea kukua kila uchao jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya kwako studio Capuchin TV your catholic identity Pia nawashukuru tena kwa support 
unapatia caption tv ile support tunapatia caption tv ni muhimu sana kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi baby number 5 1 0 6 7 8 account name caps tv you are watching capuchin tv for any complaints comments or compliments on our programming you can either write to us on info at capuchin tv.co.ke or You can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within 7 days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Every day we empower our members to grow, to harvest, to deliver. And every day they are transforming Africa. Equity Karibu member. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rosell House in Karen or contact us on 0722306030 or 0739309593 or send an email to info@rosellhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentheres.sc.ke for more details. Saint Theres Vocational Training College actualize your full potential in life.
The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for the May and September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE Bridging or NEC Receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for Diploma in Nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha Town. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 0780-430-312 or send an email to kecstlukes at yahoo.com. The Little Sisters of St. Francis invite you to the Golden Jubilee celebrations of Our Lady Queen of Angels Bahati Novishit. The event will take place on Saturday, 2nd of July 2022 in Nakuru Diocese. The Eucharistic celebration will be presided over by the Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kisumu, Most Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makumba, assisted by the Apostolic Administrator of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, His Lordship Bishop David Kamau. Do you feel called by God to become a religious sister? Then the Little Sisters of St. Francis welcome you to the ideal place to nurture your vocational journey. We are an institute of African religious women founded in 1923 and with established presence and apostolates in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and some states in the USA. Our apostolates include pastoral ministry, education, healthcare ministry, legal profession and administration, social work apostolate, catering services, fashion and design. For more information, contact the vocations promoter, the Little Sisters of St. Francis, P.O. Box 62676, Code 00200 Nairobi or call 0721-746503 or 0717-179-509. The Little Sisters of St. Francis, my God, my all. <laughs> You want the ultimate entertainment package? Look no further. By renewing your Startime subscription today, you get the most comprehensive family entertainment. Simply go to Mpesa menu, select Lipana Mpesa, then pay bill option 585858, followed by your smart card number and bouquet amount, then enter your PIN and press OK. You can then switch on to any STV or punk channel and wait for 5 minutes for channel's activation of your bouquet. For more details, call us on 0719 077 